Boker Tov, and welcome to the Jordan Alexander Wrestler Theater. Jordan Alexander was my grandson, and uh, we all loved him very much. This legacy was born out of love. In 2004, Jordan was lost in a tragic accident hiking in Nicaragua. When he passed away, we were left so empty and in such a need to make his life mean something because it's very hard when you lose somebody that young. So my family thought since his passion was theater and his work was in theater, that it would be appropriate to create a legacy by establishing this theater in his memory. I'm actually uh, uh, of the belief that uh, uh, Jordan uh, would have gone on to run a theater. I think it's really appropriate that a theater is being named after him. Uh, I think he had a real passion for what we do. Uh, he was the embodiment of the theater. And I think he would want to inspire future genera generations to follow in his footsteps. The theory department here at Hillel, it's amazing. Jacob and Sons, man of the soil, of the chief and crook. I saw a performance of the group and it was fantastic. It was professional. I felt I was in Broadway. And uh, that's what inspired me to do it. They needed better chairs, better lights, better stage. The theater itself, the kids, the program was beautiful, but they needed a better place, physical place, to act. I think what it does is it, uh, it, it changes the mindset of those in the room. When you feel you're in a setting which is uh, professional, which is comfortable, uh, you can focus, relax, and enjoy more uh, the activities going on there. I'm excited to go see the plays and sit in those chairs and see that like now you can see the play better because you're sitting up higher. I'm happy about it. I want them to feel happy, happy. That is the main thing for, for the children to be happy and if when they're happy they, they can achieve more. They can achieve more. When they see a, a, a beautiful stage, and the lights, and the sound system that works so well, that will be inspiration for them. And uh, they will know that Jordan was the inspiration for all that. Giving back is key um, in any community. To be, to be whole and to be sharing is to spread love and, and respect. And that Jewish education uh, assimilated along with our, our regular education has always been a key component in our, in our upbringing. In Jewish tradition, we believe that even though when a soul departs and moves on to the higher world, there are things that can be done down here that benefits the soul up there. It enables our children every single day to actually benefit from that gift, but at the same time, we believe that it actually gives the soul up in heaven. It gives it that extra joy knowing that even though they are no longer physically with us, that their memory is not lost. Jordan had a very happy neshama, and every time he was around people, he would, be, he would give the happiness back to the community. So I think he would be very happy to see that we, uh, that my grandmother uh, gave this present in his name. Sometimes we think that maybe that was his mission in life, and that's why it was so short, to just go away and make everybody else benefit where a lot of people benefit. I want him to be remembered. To remember this as Jordan Alexander Wrestler. As long as his name is mentioned, he's alive. 